Well, food security in itself is a major issue, but now we need to look at how food security is going to be influenced uh, by climate, climate change. Australia has had one of the most variable climates, uh, it has one of the most variable climates in the world. Um, and so our agricultural community has had to deal with the droughts and flooding rains that is part of our, it's almost part of our national psyche. Um, so if you add to that uh, an increase in extreme events, um, if we have uh, increased variability, if we, if we move our, our climate uh, areas, uh, then that adds an enormous stress to our region. We have to really think through uh, this very complex issue. This is not just, not just the agriculture or the food production. Uh, this is our water resources. Uh, this is the um, vibrancy um, of our region, regional uh, towns. This is the interface with energy. Um, so this is a very complex issue. And, and what we already know is no one option, no one solution. Is going, to, uh, is going to meet all of our criteria. But what this commission will bring is that look at um, how food security will be affected and can be affected by climate change, bringing those two things together. That will be very important. It will look at it at a global level um, and look at it from the aspects of, of availability. Do we have enough food? Um, it will look at it from access. How do we make sure the right people all over the world, wherever they are, have access to the right food? And it will look at the nutritional level, um, particularly an issue for young children, for mothers. How do we make sure um, that we have adequate nutrition? So we'll look at many of the aspects of, uh, of, of food security, but, uh, but from the lens of um, the influence now of climate change and, uh, and how that will affect those, uh, those aspects of food security. Mm -hmm.